Hey everyone, so we are going to learn how to change an entire uh, icon box styling upon overing any part of the icon box. So this is the icon box element and we are going to learn how to make a design like what you are seeing right now. We'll uh, go a bit differently. So I haven't uh, tested the, the code before. I haven't coded anything already. So uh, you will follow me along as I find out everything and how to code this properly. So if you want to learn uh, some CSS, you're at the right place. So the first thing we'll need is to give the icon box a class name. So this will make life easier. So let's just call it a uh, over a box and then in the CSS section so because I have Elementor Pro I will just use uh, this here I already have some CSS actually there so let me just remove it and let's uh, use this so over box and then we want the styling that when we over anywhere on this box, so it will be over. And then we will need more specific selectors for the icon, for the title, and then for the text. But overall, it will look like this. So right away, let's, uh, let's actually duplicate this, and then we will add in the more specific selectors. So now we need to find out what those are. So let's uh, close this and then let's uh, right click and inspect. Let me make it a bit smaller. Okay, so we'll have to use the inspector tool. Now I'm in Chrome, uh, even if you're in Anadoc browser, it should look quite similar, but I would suggest using Chrome. So here we can see that uh, this is the uh, icon, but we need to have the right selector. So it's either this one or this one. And to know which one is right, you just have to look at which one actually has the color applied. So we want to change the color. Uh, so which one has the color? So we can see that it's actually this one. Uh, the one with the class Elementor icon and Elementor animation and it has uh, the, the the different colors so if I remove it to confirm it's it's changing the color and then right from here actually actually we can uh, choose a color we want so let's say I wanted uh, I don't know let's say we go with a A dark color. Let's just say like uh, dark, uh, dark gray color. All right. So let's see. We use this, and uh, now let's go back, and we still have uh, uh, the class name here. So over box over. So now let's copy what we have here, color, and then we will also want the right selector. So it will be, let's go with uh, Elementor icon. So let's add it here. And now that should be fine for this part. Let's update and refresh the page because now I also changed it for the default. So we will see by refreshing if it actually uh, added to the uh, only on over so let's refresh let me refresh this page also and now let's let's go down all right so as you can see it works perfectly fine uh, there is even a transition, even if we didn't place any there. Uh, this is probably some default 
CSS that element park already has. So that's that's pretty good. So now we just need the same for the technology and and the uh, the text. So let's uh, go get the the right selectors. Technology. So uh, so the color is there. So it's called Elementor icon box title. So that would be the right selector. We don't need all all those selectors. We just need this part. Uh, how to it depends. If if we want to avoid using uh, important tag, then we might need the whole selector. So let's try with just this one. So that elementor, and then let's change the color. So it works. This one doesn't have any transition. It's just popping on and off. So we will fix this later. And then finally, let's uh, get this dead bo uh, icon box description. And, and then let's place the color. If you're trying this by yourself on another, uh, and it works. So if you're trying this by yourself on another uh, element or element, uh, the, the same strategy should work. Uh, just fine but sometimes if you see there is no change you can try adding the important tag then it will give it priority and th then it will change here it's not needed the CSS is uh, specific enough it seems so we don't need this so now just by hovering anywhere we get the right uh, we get what we want so, and this, of course, it, it, it's not working here because it doesn't have the class overbox. So if I was to add overbox, now it's working uh, right away. And then the same for this one. And so this one already add uh, the CSS for another design I add there. So let me actually co copy this I will reuse the CSS instead of uh, just to get the nice cubic function that was there. So transition, and then we we want it on uh, color. This might be a bit uh, slow. I think we'll rather go with this, and then. Let's replace this by this. Oh, now I have mine, uh, that, that was what I want. Okay, so now we can see it's working fine, but now we have three different uh, transition animations. So let's just normalize it by placing it everywhere. So now it should be consistent. So the one here uh, on the icon is seems to not have priority over whatever uh, is there by default. So I will add important. And now we have the, the exact result that we want. And so the color here can be anything. It, it can be black. Uh, the timing of the transition, the cubic Bezier function can be something different. Uh, if, you, if you want, how to for this design, it's, it's not very important. Uh, any, any function will look pre pretty similar. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's how you would go about uh, having the whole column uh, change, the whole icon box change upon overing. And if we want to go a little bit deeper, so let's say, let's say we also want to have a, a kind of zoom in, so on the whole box, so we would use uh, transform and then scale 
like 1.1. And now this is without transition. So it, it will make the hover box uh, bigger. And now, of course, we can just add the transition to make it uh, smoother. We will have to add uh, to add it at the right. Uh, act all right, that that's a that's a, an error I made. Uh, so let me correct this. So uh, uh, over box. So here is where we want the transition. It uh, doesn't seem to be working. Right here, we want it on the transform property and not color. All right, looks great. So that's perfect. And then, so another error I made is that I apply the transition only when hover is active. So that's why the results were not uh, great. So let me actually move this here, then delete hover, and then let's delete this. Let's close this also. I don't think it's needed. All right. So, okay, and then this uh, we don't need. Then let's do the same for the others. So this, this, and then let's remove over, and then finally hit this. It's better to have the transition always on the uh, on the basic element and not without over state because oh I didn't delete the right one uh, because otherwise the transition if you have it when it's over it will only be when you're overing but then when you over off the transition won't be there it so it it will like snap or have whatever default transition is there for example if I add over here now when I over it's there so it looks great but if I over off it will just snap back because this transition is only applied when you're overing so you want to avoid this and then let's uh, finish things off with adding the right class here and now we have a uh, great design so now, of course, it's not super consistent because I removed the border, but I think you, you get the ID. So uh, yeah, that's how you would go about adding a uh, over to the whole uh, icon box. And this will also work with the image box element and essentially with everything in Elementor. It, it would have worked if I had styled the column also in the same way. And then whatever was in the column, we could have uh, got the right CSS selector and changed it uh, this way also. So it, it really works with uh, like w whatever you want. It will work. Some will be a little bit harder to get right. Uh, all the basic elements should be uh, relatively easy to get working with this. So uh, that's it for this one. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed and uh, please consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you.